everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm sitting down getting some work done right now. I made myself a matcha, a matcha this time instead of coffee to give myself a little bit of energy and a little bit of pep in my step. It's been a while since I've made a matcha and I forgot how much I love it. So we have another vlog at home today. I have a lot to get done and to kind of wrap up before our trip. We're leaving next week for the Bahamas and I'm so excited. I already have all my outfits planned. We're leaving next Wednesday on the 31st and we'll be there for five days. So I just wanna make sure I catch up with all my work, set my out of office email, not yet, maybe next week. But yeah, I have been so busy this January. I think you guys may have noticed if you're watching all my videos, but I think the past maybe four or five of my videos have been sponsored and I typically don't like to do that. I don't like to do back to back to back video sponsored because I don't want all my videos to seem like they're just straight ads. So, you know, I try to make my integrations as natural as possible and I try to spread them out. But because I wasn't doing any sponsorships in December because I was solely focused on Vlogmas and every time I do Vlogmas, I don't want to do sponsored videos on my YouTube channel because it kind of just messes with the ebb and flow of my Vlogmas schedule. Um, so I didn't take on any like campaigns and brand deals in December aside from TikTok and Instagram, but on YouTube I didn't. So I kind of pushed them all to January and that's why there were so many. And I do have a couple more for January and I have a few lined up for February, not as much as January, but um, you know, just like to keep busy and you know build up my resume of brands that i worked with because honestly i don't plan on doing youtube forever and i like how i'm kind of building my resume of brands that i'm working with and different opportunities and campaigns that i'm a part of on the influencer side because i feel like one day when i go back to working a nine to five or corporate job i can use this experience that i've had with all these other brands and kind of you know use that for whatever job i get one day so I constantly am trying to build my resume and my portfolio, so that's kind of why I take on all these deals. And I also, of course, only take on deals that I support and products I actually like, services that I actually like. I don't just promote something that I don't like and that I don't believe in because I would never promote something that, that I think is a bad product because that's just fake. So everything I promote, I actually really love. Um, but yeah, so I apologize if that like bothered you a little bit. Um, this vlog is not sponsored. I'm just letting you know what's going to be happening in the next few weeks because the next few weeks are going to be mad busy. This might be the last time I'm able to sit down and talk to the vlog without so much craziness going on because, um, I think the next time I vlog it will be like a pack and prep with me for the Bahamas like I always do before I go on trips and then I think after that I'll vlog the Bahamas. So there's gonna be that and then we get back on the fourth and the sixth is my brother's birthday it's birthday season so i went to a birthday last week i went to two birthdays last week my brother's birthday's on the sixth my birthday's on the 10th but we're having a di birthday dinner for me on the 9th in dc 10th is my actual birthday which i think i'll just have a chill day with my family we'll probably just go out to dinner have cake and candles i don't want to do anything too much um and that's a saturday so we'll probably just Hey, with my family. Um, and then the 11th is the Super Bowl. The Packers did not win, you guys. I think in my last vlog, I was talking about how <laughs> I wanted the Packers to win so bad against the 49ers, and we did not. But I think we still did a good job. We put up a fight against the number one team, and I'm proud of them, and I'm looking forward to next season. We're going to have a booming future because we have our quarterback. We have all of our wide receivers. We're good. We're set. And we just fired our defensive coordinator this morning. I got the news. That was the first thing I woke up to. I woke up this morning and I like um, checked my phone, like the notifications and notifications saying they fired our defensive coordinator. We're all very happy about that. March will be nice because it'll be a nice quiet month. I swear, after we get back from Chicago, I am hibernating. This is also the time we're supposed to be hibernating. I saw a video and this girl was talking about how humans are meant to be hibernating. You know, we're animals too and we're meant to be hibernating in the cold winter months of January. So in this vlog, I actually wanted to tackle some more decluttering and continue my January decluttering. I feel like this is the only time I'm gonna have to do it, so I really wanna do it now. I've been meaning to declutter my two bathrooms for a couple months now. So the guest bathroom, I think, needs the most work. The linen shelves in there are so unorganized, so I really wanna 
tackle that. I just ran to Target to pick up these organizational stackable bins and I was on the hunt for some good bins to put underneath the sink and the bathroom and I was debating whether to get that whole drawer set up, you know, with all the little tiny drawers, but I have a lot of big things that are underneath the sink like cleaning products and you know, a lot of other bigger things. So I needed larger organizational bins and I think these are a great solution because they are stackable and they're so big and they seem like really good quality. These are 12 by 12 by eight and they were $12 each, these bigger ones. So I got four of them and then I also got these two smaller ones which do stack perfectly on top of the larger one. And so this one is, I believe, six by 12 by four, I believe. So yeah, two of them equals the same width as the larger one and it stacks perfectly on top. So I'm thinking what I want to do um, is have the two large ones on top of each other like this and have them on either side of underneath the sink. And then I'll see if these stack, but if not, I might stack them like this and put them in the middle underneath the sink, something like that. I'll just have to put them underneath and see what fits best. And I did measure underneath the sink before I bought these to make sure that the two would fit underneath the sink. And I'll put these in the guest bathroom because I already have organizational drawers underneath um, our bedroom bathroom. So these will be for the guest bathroom. So let me show you guys what the guest bathroom currently looks like. So the main things I wanna organize in here are underneath the sink and then these drawers. So I do have these organizational bins in here and I did organize this maybe two years ago. I meant to put travel size things in here and things that our guests could use if they were staying over, but it's been a long, long time since I've organized this. So I need to go through those and reorganize. Same with this drawer, it's gotten so messy. And down here I have a bunch of junk. I don't even know if these things are still in good use. I think a lot of these are expired. So we have a lot of things to go through. Um, and then this is where I wanna put those organizational bins. It is not organized the best. I do have these two bins here. I have two of those gray ones and they're okay, but I kind of want to stack, be able to stack so that we can organize it better. So we will work through that. I'm really excited to organize that because I think I'll be able to fit so much more in there. And then the other big thing I wanna organize is this shelf. And I have some towels and sheets that I think I'll probably give away. Um, a lot of these sheets I don't use. A lot of them are super, super cheap ones that I first got when I moved out. I have my like three sets of sheets that are on rotation currently and then the rest are no good. So I need to organize that. I have my cleaning rags in here, which I don't know why I put them here because I can easily put them somewhere else and use this for something much more, you know, valuable. So we'll go through that. These are all of my candles. I have to go through this because a lot of these like Look at that, like I need to throw that away. Um, so we're gonna go through that and organize those little bins better and then just go through my towels, maybe throw some of the ones away that are like really old and raggedy. Um, so yeah, we need to do that. And then here, probably need to organize this better. Right now we have just pool towels. We have a lot of pool towels for some reason. Um, and that's all that's in here. And then I have some more bed sheets up there which I don't ever use. So we gotta go through all this and um, just organize it so much more better, but I think these will be a really good option to organize under the sink And maybe I can put my sheets in here some extra towels so that they're not all on display on those linen shelves So I'm really excited to kind of put everything together every time I Organize it always feels like a big puzzle to me, you know, what can fit where what should go where what piece goes there So yes, okay. I'll link these in my description. These big ones were $12 each. This was $6 each So they're pretty good prices and we're gonna just get to it. We're gonna clean the guest bathroom first
so the organizing is all done. I'll show you guys what I ended up doing. So as you saw, we stacked two of the bigger bins on the right and then the other two on the left. On this one, I put all of our soaps and hair products like shampoos and conditioners. Um, and then below there are all of the kind of healthcare things. I have a heating pad there, my nebulizer, all of my asthma things, um, so stuff like that. And then here, all of the cleaning products, you know, all of the sprays and toilet cleaners here, and then just some more cleaning products there. And then in the back, I put my extra bathroom rugs there. I have three, so every time I wash them, I like get a new one and they're always on rotation. Over here, I moved the towels that used to be on the linen shelf here. And these are all of the cleaning rag towels. I'm so happy that they're not shown anymore. So they're just there. And then all of my hand towels and face towels are there. And so that's it. Everything fits so much better. And I really love these stackable containers. I really recommend them if you want to organize any uh, area or any cabinet of your house. You can even use them in your pantry or your fridge or your kitchen, um, but I just love how they're stackable. So we have that there. And then in the drawers, I just pretty much threw away expired things. This really isn't like organized in any certain way. I just put stuff here that I use. Again, like if I have guests, that's for the guests if they need lotion or, you know, mouthwash, tampons, band-aids, stuff like that. And then down here, put all of our mouth things, oral care, I should say the mouthwash, whitening strips, um, toothpaste. I just have some brushes there and that's all. Cause the majority of the things are in our like main bedroom bathroom. And then here, I finally have a place to put my Dyson. It was so crammed in my other bathroom, but since I got rid of all the products that were here, cause they were all expired, um, now it fits nicely there along with this um, wireless curler that I have. So that's all for the cabinet. And then as for the linen shelves, I just kind of, you know, decluttered a little bit, got rid of some of the towels and yeah i didn't really change the top that much but i definitely needed to go through those bins because i had so many old bed sheets that were really bad quality so i gave those away and so i divided it into these two bins these are all of my duvets i only have two duvets but they're really thick so it takes up a lot of space so yeah my duvets and the matching pillowcases that go with them and then here i have all of my bed sheets so previously i had both of these things in one bin on the floor there and it was just like all the way to the top it was not organized well so now this organization is is much better and these bins are from target i got these like three four years ago so i don't know if they're still available but um they came in handy and then down there i just put the candles those used to be on the shelves up here um i didn't really have another place to put them so they're just going to stay here but it's fine good to have all my candles in one place and um, I just threw away all the kind of empty ones, the ones that were pretty much all done. I'm a hoarder when it comes to candles. I always think I can light it a few more times and get my use out of it, but you really can't. So that's all. Um, and it just looks a lot less cluttered. And then the last thing I did in here was I just went through these shelves and I kept all our pool towels because I really like all these towels, but I cleaned up that top shelf. It had a lot of random things up there. Some things were expired. So now we have extra room and I just put all of my travel bags here like all my toiletry bags um I keep them on the bathroom because they're all you know bathroom things and I'm gonna have to go through these another day I mean we're gonna travel next week so I'll probably go through these and see um what's expired and what's not but those used to be underneath the sink but I just wanted to create more room there so I put that there and you know when you have an apartment you got to use every little space and just be creative just put things in random places okay so that's all for the bathroom organization i didn't do the other bathroom because quite frankly i'm really tired this took me like three hours to do but i keep that bathroom pretty organized for the most part um i actually organized it and went through my products about six months ago it was during the summer last year and I threw away expired products and organized it back then. So it's not as bad as this bathroom was. So I'm not worried about that. Maybe in another few months, I'll go through my products again. Um, but for now, this bathroom is done taking care of. This was what the problem used to be. And yeah, so I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. And I have a couple hauls to show you guys. So we'll do that. Okay, so something that is inevitable for me is doing a little bit of pre-vacay shopping and buying some new outfits for my vacation. I feel like that's my favorite part of vacation, just picking out outfits because a vacation is a 
once in a while thing. So yeah, I did some um, I did some shopping and got a few packages from a few different places. So I'm gonna open them all up now and try them on for the first time. I'm really hoping these things fit because if they don't, I'm gonna have to see what else to bring. But I got a lot of nighttime clothes, like dresses. I got a few cover-ups. This is from a store called Pepper Mayo. This is my first time ordering from them, but I have always window shopped on their website in the past and I think they're based in Australia. And it's funny, I think three out of four of these packages are from online retailers based in Australia. The Australians, they know how to dress. They're very cute with their outfits. So, okay, this is a cover-up set. It's a long maxi skirt crochet with a matching top and they did come separate, I believe. Um, so here is the skirt, a really pretty cream color and yeah, it is a maxi skirt. So I want to wear this one day, you know, when we're laying by the pool or when we go to the beach, just a nice cover up that I can wear with the matching top or on its own with other top. But the matching top is super cute. It is the same style and color, but it's long sleeve and has like a little front tie up there. Um, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> so yeah, it has that little tie just like that for a cute like bohemian kind of island look. I love anything crochet. I love crochet cover-ups. And then the next store I got something from is called Run Runaway the Label. Again, this is my first time ordering from them and I just got one thing or two things. It's a set. I loved the color of this skirt set. Let's see. I'll open the top first. Whoa. The sleeves are super long. I don't remember it being this long. Wait, I have to look at a photo of the model wearing this because I forgot with the top. It's supposed to be like a lot of like hanging pieces. Oh my God, I am mistaken. This is the skirt. This is a mini skirt. And this is what the mini skirt looks like. It's supposed to be like super pixelated, sorry. But the mini skirt has these little two things that are hanging from the side. So that's what's tied. I thought these were the sleeves. I was so confused at first. Okay, so yep, it's just a basic mini skirt. It's a lace material, very stretchy. Doesn't look see-through, or that see-through at least. Oh, this looks like it'll be super comfortable too. So I think with this, you can like tie it on the side and it'll just be a little hanging situation like that. That's adorable. And here is the top, it's long sleeve. And it does have, a, what do you call it? Like a um, covering or a lining on the inside of both the skirt and the top, but the sleeves are just plain lace. Oh my gosh, I love the color. I'm so, 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 so in love. I think this will be so beautiful um, in the Bahamas. So yeah, I got this size medium. I think I got both in size medium. Okay, the next package I have is from J Lux Label. I've ordered from them before a long, long, long time ago. Like 2017, 18, around that time, whenever they first became popular. And I just got one thing, and I think this is going to be so beautiful for a nighttime look, a more romantic look, and it's a mini dress, but it has all of these little roses all over it, and it's kind of like a choker, so when you put it on, it'll be kind of like that. It has more drapey things. I'm very into that style, things that kind of like drape off and hang off. And it's just a simple cream-colored mini dress, but I just love all the detailing, and this material is amazing. This, again, was pricey, but I did get discounts on everything because I signed up for the email um, lists that they have online. Every time I shop somewhere for the first time, I always sign up for the email list to get, like, I think it's usually between, like, 15 to 30% off your first order. I always sign up for these emails, and then I just remove myself from the email list um, if I don't want to get the emails. But, yeah, always do that to get a little bit of a discount. But yeah, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so, 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 so pretty. Last package is from Meshki. I picked up quite a few things because I bought most of my things on clearance. They had a really good sale going on right now because, you know, all the summer clothes are on sale because it's currently winter season. So they had a lot of warm weather clothes on sale. I got mostly dresses. I did get one cover up dress that was super beautiful, very sexy. I love this one, this is one of the things that was on sale. I think this was $39, because their dresses are pretty pricey, um, but this one, yeah, was on sale. So it's a midi dress, 
and it is like kind of yeah a little bit crochet so I thought that would be cute as a cover-up and then it has opening slits here on each side so yeah I thought that could be a nice little cover-up I was actually looking at a dress that same exact style it was on J Locks label and that dress was like a hundred dollar or yeah something around a hundred dollars and I was like oh my god I wish I could get this but that's way too expensive and I found that for like 30 something dollars on Meshki I was so excited and the next thing I got this was another sale item I think this was $19 and this is a bikini top and I loved it because it's so unique it has like a little collar here and it's like a front tie let me tie it so we can see the Full kind of look cute little bikini top I thought it was unique I don't have anything like it I just love the little collar I think it's so preppy and so cute this dress also was on sale I showed this in a previous vlog when I was doing my rent the runway haul and I showed that little clutch that I bought and then I inserted a photo of this dress that I think would look so cute with it it's this sleeveless knit dress it's olive oh my gosh I love this color so beautiful that'll be so nice during the night time for when we go to dinner and the back has like an opening has strings here so you can probably adjust it to make it tighter depending on you know your comfort but this is stretchy and I'm just loving the material maybe I'll have to wear like a slip underneath or some neutral colored undies but I love the color and I love the style and then I got two more dresses. Okay, I think this one was on sale as well. So actually everything I got was on sale except for one dress. Um, okay, here is this dress. Ooh, I kind of thought this was the same kind of style as the olive one, but it's a different color. It's like a shimmery gold. Oh man, that is gore, 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 gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell the color, but it's like a shimmery gold. That will be really pretty as well. And the sleeves are bell sleeves. I love, love, love these type of sleeves. And again, it's a maxi dress. And it's pretty simple. Maybe I can wear this as a cover-up too. Yeah, this last dress I got, this was the only thing I got that was full price. And I really debated getting it because it was pricey. But it was just the most gorgeous dress I ever saw. And I feel like I can reuse this and wear this to a wedding. Because this would be a really nice wedding guest dress. And what sold me is the color. I really, really wanted like a lemon or pastel yellow colored dress. And I love this one. I fell in love with it when I found it on the website. Again, it's a maxi dress. And it's pretty simple. It's just like a tank top dress, but it has this little opening here. I definitely have to try this on right now because this is not stretchy. This is the only non-stretchy thing I ordered. And I was a little bit nervous, but I think it will be really nice. So that's everything I got for my vacay. That's all I bought. I didn't get anything else except for everything I showed today. Everything else, I'm going to just um, reuse what I have. I really tried to do that, but I just fell in love with all of these clothes. And I really wanted to look cute because it's my birthday um, vacation trip. So yeah, okay, let's try everything on now. Okay, guys, let's ignore my very tired looking face, but... I'm gonna try everything on. Here's the yellow dress. It fits so perfect. Oh my god! I was like giggling and like glee. What's the word? Like yeah, I was like geeking out when I first put it on because I'm so happy it fit so good. I wasn't sure if the medium would fit because it's not stretchy and it's just so form fitting. It really hugs all the curves and it just looks so elegant. So this is definitely going to be an outfit option for the Bahamas. I might wear this for my birthday dinner. I'm definitely gonna reuse this so many times as much as I can. Like if we go to a spring or summer wedding, this would be so cute or any nice occasion. But this is definitely gonna be a staple in my closet that I will wear for a long time because it's just so gorgeous and I'm so obsessed. So yeah, I got a size medium. And so normally I used to be size large, but I think my new size is medium since I lost some weight. Um, so that's why I was a little bit scared because I still don't really know what my size is. Um, I get nervous ordering medium because I still think that I'm large, but oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna wear this with some white heels maybe and a cute little white pearly clutch. So here's the little blue set. I like it. Yeah, this is cute. It's stretchy, it's comfy, fits good. Very nice and cute for another nighttime look. This little dress is perfect. This will be another nice nighttime or even a daytime. I think I can wear this during the day too. But I love the color. I feel like the color picks up differently on camera than in person. But 
no, it's super nice. I think this will look really cute. So this dress is not exactly what I had pictured. Um, first of all, I feel like I look like Wilma from the Flintstones. Second of all, I feel like it is too loose up here and not supportive. Um, and I don't know if I put this on right. I think this is, this is how the model was wearing it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's cute. I really like the concept of it, but I feel like it's not that cute. And I just really am getting Flintstones vibes. So this is expensive. I actually might return this one because of how expensive it was. And I don't love it as much as the other ones. So, um, what do you guys think? I feel like I look like a curtain and a chandelier also. So this might be a no. And I'm actually happy about that because now I'll get my money back because I really don't think I needed to buy this. So I was thinking of wearing this as a cover, but maybe this would be nice for a nighttime outfit. I have like a slip I could wear. Um, it's like a two-piece slip that... I can wear under dresses that are see-through so I might bring that and wear this as a nighttime outfit or maybe even both maybe I'll wear it one night and then the next day I'll wear it as a cover-up because it's really cute oh, this is on sale for $30 such a good find there's this one and I like it not as much as the sleeveless one um, but I think this one was cheaper on sale so I think I like everything except for the Flintstones dress that will probably go back but everything else I think is super cute having a lazy girl dinner today. I didn't really feel like cooking, so I just made one of my frozen Trader Joe's meals, beef and broccoli. I've never tried it, but it smells really good. It kind of smells like orange chicken a little bit, like sweet and spicy, um, and I just warmed up some rice. So this is girl dinner, and I'm gonna probably honestly eat this in bed because I'm so tired, <laughs> and I'll watch The Office in bed. That's honestly the only place I wanna be sitting right now. Mm -hmm. 